Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to give you a complete tutorial on how to transfer your money to Expatrio blocked account. So guys, I'm a, I think you all are aware that a blocked account is required for your visa student visa application and on that basis you are going to receive your student visa and that makes a blocked account a very important and compulsory thing that is going to affect your uh, student visa application so in today's video i'm going to give you a complete tutorial of how to transfer your money to expand your blocked account and get your student application visa done so here we are on the page of expand your blocked account it is in uh, now we are on the expatrio uh, blocked account uh, cre account creation page these are the initial information which expatrio asks from us what will you be doing in germany so let's get started what will you be doing in germany first what are you going to do in germany are you a language student student calling study applicant exchange student master bachelor phd or something like that so here we will uh, tap as university student master next are you at least 18 year old yes i am at least 18 year old mostly of us are now they will ask let's calculate the total blocked account amount so the complete blocked account amount which we need to transfer to our blocked account is mentioned here blocked account per month 934 euros so guys according to german embassy uh, visa application checklist they have asked that uh, we need to have 934 euros per uh, per month uh, we can with withdraw per month 934 euros from our blocked account so 934 into 12 months is equals to 11208 euros then there are some additional charges of expatrio okay so expatrio is not a public uh, uh, sector undertaking or something like that it is a private institution so they charge fee for that first is account buffer this is 100 euros so account buffer is i, I i'll explain you in very uh, you know in i'll i'll give you the crux of account buffer it is something that you see in euros on 1st of november the euro raise rate was 80 inr and on today it is 85 inr so guys there is a fluctuation happening on euro rate every day so expatrio says we'll take 100 euros from you as an account buffer for the account uh, you know for the change in the rate of euros and if that 100 euros is not used completely or uh, somehow it is used like 20 euros out of it and 80 euros is left so they will transfer the leftover with your last installment which will be your 12th installment right so they will give back they will give the refund of this account buffer second is initial setup fee this is the fee that expect your charge to uh, set up your account and service fee five rupees monthly this is a one-time payment this is also one time payment but they tell is at a five euro per month so 12 five just 60 euros so this is the complete amount which you need to transfer to your expatrio plot account you need don't need to transfer even one one euro extra than this to your blocked account and hence we all know that it is a uh, expatrio blocked account is officially accepted and approved by german federal foreign office next <coughs> So guys, here you will get the uh, information about what are you going to get in a blocked account. First is blocked account. Second is current account. So guys, current account is something which you need to connect to your blocked account after you will be uh, reaching in Germany, right? You cannot uh, take out funds directly from your blocked account every month. So you need to set up a current account in Germany in a German bank, connect that to your blocked account and then Expatrio will transfer 934 euros every month to your current account. And yes, Expatrio uh, help us in creating this account current account for free that current account setup is free with expatrio health insurance health insurance is definitely not free in germany and expatrio also don't give it to free for us so yes blocked account uh, uh, charges 109 additional benefit is a zero here additional benefits means current account and total is 109 euro now we will be applying what is your age range at least 18 younger than 23 years old do you have at least one child no Great. Please find your tailored result. So here is all the things we will be getting in the value package. First, we will get a blocked account. Second, we will get a current account. I have already explained it to you. Health insurance. Guys, health insurance is not free and is not given even free by expatrio. So you have to pay some amount for it monthly. It is required every month to be have a health insurance in Germany. Incoming insurance. This is a kind of travel insurance and it is for first 92 days. It is free. It is given free by uh, expatrio with a... Uh, Dr. Walter 
health uh, travel insurance third is isic card this is not needed everywhere so just ignore it so guys this is the uh, complete additional charges with which expect to charge other than 11280 euros first is blocked account initial payment 109 euros cash back 49 euros they are giving cash back of 49 health insurance 117.5 euros this is health insurance which you need to pay every month incoming insurance which is given free by expatrio health insurance this is the health insurance we were talking about additional benefit zero here there is a current account which is a free isic card which is a free so you need to give this amount uh, uh, at one uh, 60 euros is one time and 117.5 euro monthly uh, for your health insurance right so we will be applying now for the expatrio blocked account please tell a bit, bit about yourself so guys i'm i will be creating a dummy account here right so i will i will not be create giving my personal details here because i have already created a blocked account for myself so yes here i will be creating a dummy account so mr here we will write as it is jo country code So guys, this is the uh, first page. I have completely filled it for you. Not wasting your time. So guys, this is the buff dummy account I am creating. So these are all the incorrect information. These are not true. So don't go after it. So yes, we have filled the details here. First name, last name, phone number, date of birth, place of birth, country of birth, email address, confirm email address. This email address is also a dummy email address, right? Invitation code. If you don't have any invitation code of your friends and families, you can use my invitation code. My invitation code is K A R T I K E Y A P one, right, guys? So we have completed the first page. Here, guys, they have asked us from uh, about our address. So, do you have already have a German address? So, no, we don't have any German address. So here we will here we will be mentioning our uh, current address, which is on our passport, right? So we'll be mentioning it here only, same like this. Zip code one one zero 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 zero. City, city is Delhi. So you have to mention here your passport address, right? So care of address A B C and uh, like something K U M A R country. My country is India, right? So here you have to mention your passport address because we don't have a German address. We are currently in India. So yes, mention your passport address. Let's move on to the next section. Here it is asking what is your academic background in Germany, like which university are you visiting in Germany? So let's for example write it T U M, Technical University Munich. My university is not listed; it is listed. What is your university campus? Where? So, Aachen. What is your major? For example, let's take this. Okay, what is your estimated arrival date in Germany? What? is was your start of studies in germany so now summer semester is coming so 2023 first of april the classes start from first of april let's take a gap of let's five days only so i will be going to germany on 25th of march 2023 right guys so this is the information required on the university section let's move on to the next page where are you coming from what is your nationality currently i hold only nationality of a one country that is india so i'll mention here india here also india which country are you relocating from currently i am in india and i will be relocating from india to germany so yes in both the cases india will be the answer let's move on to the next page in this section guys you have to upload your passport right a colored copy of your passport all four corners of your passport are visible it's just like this so guys i want to share an important point here that in india we have passport uh, a credential on two pages first page and the last page in most of the country they have on the first page itself or even on on one page but in india we have on two pages first and last so what you have to do is click the photo from your camera of the passport don't take scanned copy they have clearly mentioned that take a direct photo of your passport and upload it instead of a scanned copy don't scan it directly click a photo of both the pages of both the credential pages first page and last page of the address and uh, create a pdf of that page uh, two pages pdf and upload it here passport number you have to mention your passport here i want to upload my passport here. i will not be uploading my passport here so yes you have to upload your passport next 
so guys fantastic you have done uh though we can ease the process of coming to germany we unfortunately cannot make a bureaucracy disappear completely as yes. so just take all these boxes so this is the uh, congratulations page you have successfully finished your application we will send you an email with the detailed information of your application and next steps you can also find more information on an expatrio your user portal so guys now you have to log in an expatrio user portal i will not be logging in because i have my account already so guys now we are here on my expatrio dashboard this is you can see hello kartikeya these are my products so guys this is my expatrio blocked account uh, Uh, dashboard i am going to tell you now how to transfer your money to your blocked account that is a very simple procedure you have to open your blocked account section here you will be see uh, here you will be watching two section blocked account awaiting money transfer blocked account closed so that is a different story i'll make a different video on that why this section is closed so in your case you will only be seeing this only one section you will only be watching uh, in this on your page awaiting money transfer so you have to click on that This is your blocked account dashboard. Your account, current account balance zero. Remaining month twelve, fund received is zero. So currently, I have not transferred any fund to my blocked account. So yes, it is showing as a zero transfer. Awaiting money transfer. Click the my payment button and initiate a blocked account fund transfer. This you have to tap this to transfer your money to the blocked account. So these are the uh, little details about your blocked account. Total amount required eleven four one seven. Monthly blocked account nine three four. Planned length of stay twelve months. Initial setup fee forty nine, monthly service fee five, account buffer hundred. I've already uh, explained you all of these expenses. So yes, let's uh, make my payments. Go to my payments. Your fund received zero. Fund pending amount nine four one seven. So guys, I I want to bring to a kind notice that I have uh, actually initiated. Uh, transfer of two thousand euros to just explain to you. I'm not transferring any amount amount as of now, but yes, I will be explaining you everything. But uh, for that, let's initiate a payment for you, and directly I will take you after to that which I have initiated already. So when you will click to initiate a payment, you will be seeing a page like this: blocked account payment. We will take you to the blocked account, but they want a country, country of payment initiation. I will be transferring my country uh, from my country that is India. So I will be writing here India. Okay, let's move on to the next. How much would you like to transfer? So, guys, this is the very important point. People have confusion in this that how much money they need to transfer. Is it a one-time transfer, two-time transfer? How much they can transfer? So, guys, the least you can send is one zero four three euros, and most you can send is nine four one seven. Just ignore the fact uh, this is nine four one seven because I have already initiated transfer of two thousand euros to explain you. We will directly go or uh, hop onto that page. But yes, the least you can send is one zero four three, and the most you can send is you will be seeing an eleven four. Eleven thousand four hundred seventeen euros. So it is completely upon you how much you want to transfer. So let's take it. I am transferring two thousand euros, right? So next page. <coughs> so you have to read all this information. I have completely read it. I am. I will not be wasting your time by reading them here. So you just go through all this information, right? Select payment method. So, guys, please pay your complete uh, attention here. This is the most important uh, procedure of transferring money to your blocked account. Ninety-nine percent of students face problem here. So, I want you to be completely here with me. It will only take two to three minutes to explain this step to you. Select payment method. Expatrio payment. First, here we have one, two, three, four method of transferring money to your expatrio blocked account. I will be explaining you all all the four method, and then I'll tell you which is the best and you know efficient method of transferring money to your blocked account first is domestic bank transfer a2 form paper a2 form in this transfer fund to our local indian account using nft or rt just just simply go to the your bank account branch and uh, transfer your money to a uh, account that will be given by expatrio to you a bank account which is an indian bank account but there is an uh, point here the, here that while transferring money international transferring money you need to fill an a2 form and provide it to the expatrio in first point domestic bank transfer paper a2 form you need to fill that a2 form download that a2 form uh, fill it and a person will visit your home and you have to provide that a2 form to him a person will come physically to your home right and you have to provide that paper a2 form to him and he will take that paper a2 form with him and uh, that then the process of your uh, money transfer will be continued 
सेकेंड इज डोमेस्टिक बैंक ट्रांसफर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक है टू फॉर्म फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड मैथड आर कंप्लीटली डेटो कंप्लीटली सेम बट द डिफरेंस इज इन फर्स्ट a person will come to your home to collect that a2 form but in second point you just need to download that form sign it scan it and upload it on the expatrio portal right you just need to scan it and upload it in the expatrio portal it will be very much you know time efficient and very much a good option you can see the amount difference here also iner 175 iner 173 so 2000 difference this 2000 difference the, in this section they are asking for the person who will be visiting you so i don't think first method is a very good or efficient method right so clearly uh, no uh, i suggest not to use the first option right second option i've already explained you third option international bank transfer if you want to transfer money in usd go with the usd third uh, fourth is international bank transfer if it directly want to transfer money in your euros right so you have to go with your international bank transfer method now which one we should use as an indian as a, you know we want to uh, we want to transfer money efficiently we don't want to take any risk i would suggest you to go with the second option domestic bank transfer this is a very good method very efficient method very easy method i will be taking you with the step of electronic a2 form method also but yes please go with the domestic bank transfer electronic a2 form right so we will be tapping here next who will be making this payment me someone else if you tap to me it will be uh, you will be transferring money someone else so guys i want to clear the air here that in someone else only your father your mother your brother your sister only your blood relative relations can transfer money and nobody else right in me I, here i'm tapping as me next these are all the details which i have completely filled already to tell you the tutorial address compliance details resident saving source of fund so my source of fund i have, uh, for example i have mentioned here as resident saving person saving if in in your case it is pension agriculture income business if you have taken that edu education loan go with any of the option that suits you right resident saving i am taking as resident saving this option is very important this option says that apart from today like i am transferring 2000 euros now apart from today before today have you transferred any fund internationally right if you have transferred any amount internationally even 100 uh, 100 rupees even 1000 rupees even 10000 rupees just mention it here right if in the current financial year right if you have transferred any amount internationally to any country please mention it here right so i will be mentioning here as zero guys i want to uh, add a tip here that yes we students have transferred money like uh, i want you to remember that uni assist amount or any other uh, enrollment charges that is an international transfer so keep in mind that amount also if you have if you have made your uni assist uh, application fees yourself from your account and you are transferring the money to block account from the same account please mention that amount also okay so let's take take here is at zero in my case zero here documents passport both identity and address pages pan card passport address page right so you have to upload these three documents i have already uploaded it we will moving we will move to the next page so guys this is the confirmation page that uh, i have completely uploaded everything i have read the payment information above so i will not be tapping here finish because i have already initiated a payment before i will directly take it to there so until now i think i have clearly explained all the steps here this is the last step which uh, which you have to do in the payment transfer now let's move on to the next step which you have to do while really transferring the money okay here we are so i have already initiated a transfer of 2000 euros so you can see transfer status and payment when uh, after uh, you uh, after finish uh, tapping finish here you will come to this page blocked account payment let's me take to here let me show you completely you will go to your home after click after clicking on finish right i am not clicking finish because i have already initiated a initiated a payment example for you blocked account awaiting money transfer and my payments here here you will see a transfer payment 3 transfer initiated right so what you have to do is click on this here it is amount to transfer 2000 euros right i have initiated amount of 2000 due date 12th november today is 20 uh, 27th of november so they have given me uh, a prox 10 days 10 or 12 days right to transfer the money your blocked account fund transfer has been initiated we are waiting for you 
waiting for the requested blocked amount to arrive in your blocked account. Once you have transferred your requested blocked amount, please upload the proof of transfer below, document transfer proof. If you have not yet made the transfer, you can find the transfer details in your blocked account transfer details document. So guys, now talking about the document section, we have four important points in the document section. First is blocked account transfer details. You have to download this PDF. Inside it, you will be having the transfer details of the bank account where you have to transfer the money. Second is transfer form A2. Download it. Third is transfer proof. This is the place to upload the transfer proof in the PDF form. This is the transfer form A2 sign upload upload section. So guys regarding transfer form A2, I think I've already told you that this is the form you have to download it, sign it, fill the uh, details which I will be telling you in the further video and simply scan and upload it. Simple. The, you, don't, you don't have to do uh, anything uh, else than on the A2 form. Talking about the transfer proof, guys, uh, if you have not done any NFT or RT just transaction uh, before that, you can ask your parents, your father about that. While we do uh, NFT transaction on the bank branch, we need to fill a, a form, right? It, the, uh, the form has two sections, customer copy and the bank copy. You have to fill both of the section yourself. But while filling that uh, customer copy, uh, after filling the customer copy, ask the bank official to uh, put a stamp on that uh, customer copy of the NFT transaction you are going to transfer the money right after getting the stamp done on the customer copy uh, click the photo scan it and make a pdf of it and simply upload the transfer proof here right so i have, uh, I have we have talked about the transfer proof and transfer from signed which you have to upload it now let's talk about details we have to fill in the a2 form and uh, how to transfer the money i have downloaded both of the uh, uh, documents here first is the transfer details second is the a2 form right so guys, this is the Expatrio uh, transfer details where they have provided how much amount I have to transfer in INR, obviously, because we will be transferring money to a domestic bank account. So this is the details invoice state, which is as of today. I'm doing a dummy transfer. I'm not transferring money. This is here is my name. Here is the CPS number description. Here is the uh, total amount which I have to transfer. This is the amount and they have added 246 as the service tax. This is the total amount I have to transfer, not even one rupee more than this. I will be transferring, right? This is the page which includes all the information about the bank account detail to transfer the funds. Currency, INR, amount, how much amount I have to transfer. Amount is this right one seven three two three zero uh, bank name here will be with the bank name bank branch name ifsc code bank beneficiary account name account number account time payment description declared source of fund and declared total amount of lrs so guys here is the information of the bank account i am definitely not showing this information to you because uh, that is a private information after downloading your a2 form you will get the information there also so here is the information about how much INR you have to transfer to a bank account which is situated in India. You don't have to do any international transfer. Simply transfer the amount to this bank account mentioned here do, using NEFT or RTGS. Right guys. So you don't have to do anything else than that. You, uh, regarding that uh, transfer proof I have already told you. While filling the uh, copy of the uh, form of the transferring of NEFT ask the bank official to put a stamp on the customer copy scan it and upload it in the place of a transfer proof now look, talking about the last thing that is transfer form A2 signed this is the A2 form right guys so many students are having confusion in filling A2 form and getting uh, uploaded it so I'm here to clear out the air that you just have to do three things in the A2 form nothing else A2 form is the very easy form which you have to do while uh, getting your blocked account open right so guys I have uh, hidden my details which are my personal details so this is the A2 form it is of two pages right so not going into the brief not creating confusion and just telling you what details you have to fill so guys <clears throat> you are saying these two boxes right first one is this and second is this one this box right so you have to fill only these details which are inside the box first name of the ad branch to debit my saving bank current account number so here you have to mention the bank account of your bank account or your parents bank account which you are using to transfer the money to your block account to the bank account mentioned here right so you have to mention here the account which you from which you will be transferring money to this account so you have to mention the bank account of your uh, bank account number right you have to just fill this download it 
fill the detail with the pen these details are already filled right you don't have to do anything you just have to fill these details Sec first detail is this mention your account number from where you are transferring the money using pen black or blue pen second detail second box is here you just have to sign and you just have to mention the date nothing else you have to do in the a2 form right guys a2 form is a very easy procedure you don't have to get panic regarding it you just have to fill two things regarding this this is the uh, details it is used when you have transferred any other money before uh, date to transfer international money like i have transferred zero so i will be mentioning zero or i will be keeping it blank suppose you have paid unisys fee of two universities right suppose you have transferred ten thousand rupees so you will be mentioning your serial number one date date current date amount ten thousand name and address of the ad branch through which the transaction has been affected keep it blank right just mention ten thousand date and serial number and keep it blank and if you haven't transferred anything from that particular account from this account you will be mentioning here internationally you have not done an international transfer just keep it blank okay guys so these are the two important point while transferring money to the expenditure i think i've covered all the details all the minor details which are used to fill the documents section after you have uh, done both the uh, uploaded both of these document it will directly go to the 70 percent or i think 100 percent right if it is 70 percent then after completion of your transfer it will become 100 percent right after that you will be uh, uh, able to see here 2000 fund received as 2000 and pending amount 9417 for the further payment you can follow the same procedure and uh, get the whole of the amount transferred to your block account yes guys so i think i've completed all the minor steps if you still have any doubt left just dm me on my instagram or comment down i will try my best to answer each and every technical question which you have regarding the transfer to the blocked account payment right guys so thank you thank you very much for watching this video like this video uh, subscribe the channel and share this video with any student who is going to start his blocked account procedure i think this video will help him a lot thank you very much